Hi guys, so in this video, I wanna talk about the SM50A. I love this microphone. I use this microphone all the time. Some of you guys out there might hate the microphone. I personally know a couple of people that have these microphones in their studio and they never use them because they hate the way they sound. Everybody has their own opinion and that's fine. I was reading some articles how you can enhance the SM50A, some of the things you can do to make this microphone a lot better. Most of the time, people are comparing this microphone to the SM57. I don't have an SM57. I have multiple dynamic mics. I have multiple condenser mics, but I don't have an SM57. Shame on Ray. Maybe in the future, I'll buy one. Every time the US president speaks on TV, they're using an SM57. They just got a pretty nice grill and you can buy those online. They're really cheap. The 58, I've seen people use it in the radio stations, live shows, the news, just the microphone you see all over the place. So let's talk about some of the things that people do to this microphone. Now, the 58, let's bring it up a little close to the camera. I have to focus, there we go. So over here we have the grill. And one of the things that a lot of people like to do, they like to remove this grill. So by removing the grill, people think that they're converting this microphone into a 57. Now I can't compare it to a 57 because I don't have one here. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be recording some audio examples and we're gonna find out if actually removing this grill, will it make the mic better or will it make the mic a lot worse? Another thing that a lot of people do, I don't know if you guys can see this, over here you have some of the exposed capsule and people like to tape it. Now on the 57, you can buy an Omni ring and that's gonna help you with the proximity effects it's also gonna change the polar pattern of the microphone. So we're gonna do that as well. Hopefully there'll be some differences. So let's go to the computer and let's record some audio. So we're using the 58, just as you see it in the photo with the grill. There's no EQ. The only thing I'm gonna be doing in this video is level matching. So this is how the microphone sounds with the grill. If I get right up on the microphone, it's gonna sound darker. You can hear the proximity effect. Whenever I'm using this microphone, I like to give myself some space. And by doing that, you're gonna avoid some of the plosives. So I've removed the grill. We're using the microphone just as you see it in the photo. So by removing the grill, does it make the microphone better? Does it make it a lot brighter? Do you still hear that proximity effect? Do you pick up those plosives a lot more? Remember, I'm not gonna edit any of this. As I said, if I get closer, you're gonna hear those plosives. Okay, so I ended up putting some electrical tape around the capsule of the SM58. If you guys remember, there was a little space there. So according to some people, if you cover that up, it's gonna actually make the microphone a lot better. I don't know if that's the case. Supposedly, you'll get rid of the proximity effect. So I'm pretty close to the microphone. I wanna know, did it make it worse? Or did it make it better? So we ended up trying the microphone in its original condition no windscreen, no pop filter. Then we decided to put some tape around the capsule. My favorite is the second option. It actually sounds a lot brighter. You're gonna pick up a lot more T's, S's, all that stuff. So currently, as I'm recording this part of the video, I'm using the 58 without the grill and with my pop filter, spit guard, whatever you wanna call it. So here's what I want you to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, press the bell for future notifications. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, also, if you want to discuss anything that you saw in this video, let's talk about it. Post at the bottom. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.